welcome back into Wayne's World, ladies and gentlemen. This is another episode of the Arsenal Football Manager 22 save. We've played a couple of games since the last time we saw you. If you haven't checked out the last episode from a couple of days ago and ask nicely, go and check that video out. It does give you a quick update on why we've been missing for a couple of months and why our content on the channel and over on Twitch has not been the most consistent recently. It's a big update. It's a huge update. Hopefully you're supportive of it and hopefully you can understand why I have been missing in, but we're hoping to now grind out a little bit more content for you guys in starting with the North London derby against Spurs today in this episode. If you are enjoying the content, if you are enjoying the series in general, if you are a fan of the channel, hit the like button down below. It really does help me out. And if you are new around here, hit the subscribe button as well. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, which was the target for the end of 2022. We've still got about, was it five months left? I completely lost track of days there and months if we can reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year that will be target achieved and we'll be looking for the next game cycle to push on and push harder right then today's episode is up against tottenham north london derby let's give you a quick catch up on what's happened because the transfer deadline day did pass we didn't do much work in terms of our squad we done all of our big bits of business during the summer the one big piece of information is that martin Erdegaard stayed psg didn't come in with the offer to get him out of the club we made an agreement with martin Erdegaard that if they offered around about 180 million pounds he could go to psg he was happy with that i was happy with that but psg seemingly weren't and they didn't come in with an offer last time in terms of matches we went up against leicester and chelsea two comfortable victories there chelsea 4-2 and leicester 3-0 with Lionel messi finally getting on the score sheet against chelsea there he's got a couple of assists since then as well in that Leicester game so hopefully he's now starting to come into form we've just had an international break and our main man Lautaro Martinez is injured he's out for about six weeks it came through and said it's now showing up at about three weeks but by the time we get him back to full fitness I reckon it will probably be about the month mark so that's going to be a huge huge miss for us obviously Lautaro Martinez currently top goal scorer in the Premier League was top goal scorer last season as well in our trophy winning campaign in the league we're going to miss him we're going to miss him but that was the point of bringing in guys like Messi guys like Osimhen we've now got the depth in quality to go up against teams like Spurs and hopefully compete without too much of an issue elsewhere in terms of competitions we're top of the Premier League only three games gone nothing too major there we've been drawn against Burnley in the Carabao Cup a competition that we are hoping to win as well later on in the season and Champions League wise we've not got the easiest of draws in the group stage we come up against Juventus obviously ourselves Shakhtar Donetsk and Valencia I do trust us to qualify from that group stage but Juventus will be tricky and now we're in the middle or sorry we're just about to start a little bit of a tough run in we've got Spurs away followed by Juventus away in the league and then Manchester City in the Premier League so it's a tough run of fixtures but we're starting off this episode with the one game of the episode up against Spurs in the North London derby and this is the lineup that we'll be going for Ramsdale in goal Tommy Asu Tomori Gabriel and Tierney in defense Gravenberch playing that deep line playmaker role with Nkunku in the midfield maybe bring back in Zabozlai actually Zabozlai did play well last time out and got a couple of goals Erdegaard is the playmaker Saka on that right hand side and Messi up front with Dominic Calvert-Lewin and again the big miss being our main man Lautaro Martinez can we get enough goals against this Spurs side it's been a bit of a slow start from us so far and the first highlight of the game is a red card Hoiberg has been sent off for Spurs can't really say I'm surprised they're a dirty dirty club they're down to 10 men we need to now take advantage but there's been no highlights so far in terms of shots on target anyway now that they're down to 10 men we need to take full advantage we're gonna go a bit more attacking and go full front foot for the rest of this first half free kick to Arsenal then is whipped in by Erdegaard but it's well headed away and Tommy Asu has the opportunity to build up again now Erdegaard can he pick a pass finds Gravenberch into Saka in the box Robert Sanchez with the save it wasn't the most convincing save so he's come back out and we're able to build up against Tomori finds Erdegaard does he have a shot no but he finds Bozlai and it's just wide since we've gone attacking since they've gone down to 10 men we have started to create a couple more chances I'm hoping that we can take the lead as Fabio Vieira whips in across Morato's there the centre-back for Tottenham it's gone just wide 
the Spurs have just sat back and absolutely part of the boss here. 79 minutes have gone and we've not been able to create much of anything at all. It's frustrating our boys here, but we've got a highlight and hopefully we've made a couple of subs. We'll be able to break down this deep, deep defense as Lionel Messi does what Lionel Messi does best. He scores when his team needs it. What a fantastic goal that was from 20 yards out on the volley. Dave sat deep. And we've had shots, we've had shots on target, but nothing really too clear cut. And Kunku with the assist and on the half volley, Messi from outside the box with a brilliant finish past Robert Sanchez. Arsenal 1, Tottenham 0. It's been a bit of a boring game. We can come off attacking now. We're going to praise the boys. I don't even mind if it's only a 1-0 win. We've been so frustrated by this Tottenham side. But I feel like we deserve the victory in terms of the stats in the game, the amount of shots we've had, the amount of shots on target, dominated possession. We are the better side. As time ticks down, a couple of minutes left. I don't mind now if there's no highlight whatsoever. Three minutes stoppage time. Just end the game. We can start wasting time if we need to. One minute left to go. And Arsenal have come up trumps once again in the North London derby. Ever since that first season where we lost to them in the Carabao Cup, I think that uh, we've pretty much gone unbeaten against Spurs since. And that is a big, big victory for us. I think it's well deserved. We've now gone back to the top of the Premier League. And Lionel Messi is doing his job just as I'd hoped. I, I've, I did have doubts considering he's a 37-year-old coming to the Premier League. And his, looking at his numbers in terms of his attributes in-game... Being that he is, you know, 37 and everything, he doesn't really have the pace of the Premier League. His sort of stamina, he can't really go for the full 90 minutes, although he did there. I do have to kind of watch out for that because he probably tires a lot. But the rest of his technical abilities are all still there. His mental abilities are there with decisions 20, determination 20, flair 20, off the ball 16, vision 19. He's always capable of a moment of magic. And he's done that again. Absolutely fantastic from us to go back to the top of the Premier League. We owe it to Lionel Messi. Looking at the schedule, like I've mentioned, we have got a tough, tough run of fixtures here we've got juventus and manchester city coming up we've got the carabao cup third round against burnley coming up that'll be a tough tough game to make sure that we can navigate it because we do have to win the carabao cup and we do want to make sure that that is something we do this season i can't believe we've not won it in four seasons carabao cup i thought it was something that would be quite easy to tick off but as mentioned in the last episode, I won't be doing episodes on this save like I was before. It will be more sort of roundup episodes at big point. So it might be when we've qualified, say, for the Champions League group stage, when we're in a knockout game of the Champions League, when we've maybe won a trophy or we've got to the semi-finals or the finals. We're going to do more summary-based episodes on the channel because we've come to the end of the Football Manager 22 cycle and it's been fantastic. But... I don't want to bore you guys with too much gameplay unless it's a really massive game or something like that. So if you want to keep up with the series sort of in live form, I will be streaming it live on Twitch. And that Twitch link is in the description down below. Come over to Twitch and you'll be able to find out what we're doing sort of game by game week in week out and we'll be able to keep you updated there but you will have episodes don't worry about it there will be episodes because i know twitch isn't for everyone and um, it will just be more summary based so that you don't miss out on any of the key points and maybe a big game here or there a bit like the north london derby but as always stay safe take care thank you so much for the support on the channel the response to the last video is absolutely fantastic thank you so much for those that reached out to me uh, personally to congratulate me on the news and I'll see you for the next episode where hopefully we've qualified through the Champions League group stage.